Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a power-up webinar entitled Apps and Plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. By the way, we have a new subscription membership service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 training and our Adobe training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any live webinar for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Probably no developer is better known than Graham Natris and his website natris.com. Graham has been making plugins for a long time for Final Cut, and he's got a new one now for Final Cut 10 called Levels and Curves Filter Pack. This is a plugin that emulates tools found in Photoshop, specifically levels and curves. It provides extremely detailed contrast and color control with on-screen controls that simplify making changes and a variety of available presets to get you started, but it's the actual controls that make this worth getting. Let me show you. Let's take a look at this simple scene here. If I go to Natris, there are four filters, curves, luma curves, RGB curves, and level curves. I'm going to take the luma curves, luma means grayscale, and just drag it on top here. And what it's just done is he's set a box that says you can control the black levels, the shadows, the mids, the highlights, and the white level. Watch what happens in the shadow detail here and on the face of the mountain as I pull the shadows down just a bit. Notice as I darken them, I'm going to just reach out so it's, whoops, too far, reach out so I can see what's going on. Notice how as I pull these down, this gets to be richer. It has a more interesting look. I'm going to pull the mids down, pump the highlights up, and just pull the whites down just a hair. This is exactly the same control that we have on curves inside Photoshop, except we're doing it in video. And the reason I like that so much better is that I'm able to watch it using scopes. The ability to use scopes to adjust curves to make sure that my white levels don't exceed 100%, my black levels don't go too far down, and then to be able to use curves to, to change chroma setting is just amazing. I'll show that in a second. Here, for instance, let's use these balloons, except let's use levels. Again, just like the levels inside Photoshop. Look at where my black levels are, way down here. And I don't have any white levels at all. Let me just pump the mids up a bit and pump the whites up a bit. And look at how I can make those balloons look like they're just coming alive with just adjusting those levels. Now, yes, you can do something similar to this in the color corrector filter with Final Cut, but not with this level of precision, not with these many different points, and not with the same facility that you've learned over all the years with Photoshop. We now have that kind of control inside Final Cut. Well, here's another problem. I think it's safe to say that the girl's skin does not look natural. It'd be nice if we could fix it. In fact, if we go up to the settings window and show the vector scope, well, let's just click the crop, and let's go to a trim here. Let's just trim this in just to see her skin tone. And as we know, skin tone should be on the skin tone line. So let's see what it looks like. Whoa. If that skin tone, if that was any yellower, it'd be parked on top of the yellow target. This is way off. Select the clip. Let's apply curves RGB. And there's our RGB curve. This is the red curve. This is the green curve. This is the blue curve. I want to take some of that green out. Watch the vector scope as I pull this around. And I'll just move that skin tone just by tweaking the curves just a hair. And look at that. In just a couple of small adjustments, I've got her right on the skin tone line. Let's go back up to crop. Let's go to trim. Let's take this off. Now you can see the three lines. There's our red curves, our green curves, and our blue curves. Command 7 to show the scopes. And look at that. Fast, easy Photoshop-type color correction using curves 
with on-screen controls tied in with the vector scope. Very, very cool. Go up to the inspector, turn off the show curve so it doesn't screw our scopes up so much, and we're done. For the complete version of this webinar, visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. On the left-hand side, click Power Up Webinars and look for webinar number 65. And thanks.